everyone i am acc disha chauhan and i am here today to show you exactly how to access the acc cbe practice platform so many of you might already know but there are many students who you know constantly uh, tell us on youtube on comment section that you know they want to know about this practice platform so we have created this video especially for you all wherein i'll showcase you like from the start that exactly from google how can you go what do you have to type how will you access this pra practice platform and then what is this practice platform all about so we'll be seeing all of that in today's video before we do that if you have not yet subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our youtube channel because we put a lot of informative videos with regards to accas and other courses so make sure you subscribe and hit that like button all right so let's begin with today's tutorial on the acca cbe practice platform so you could start off by you know just going on google and you could just type cbe practice platform and then you will be taken to this website basically the google will show its uh, results the first one which says past exam and question practice you need to click on that link and then this page of acca's official website would open you go down and you can see under this resources section you can clearly see it says log in to the practice platform and this will launch to an external site so you just click on that and it will simply open in the next window now what do you need to do as simple you just need to put in your acc id so if you are a registered student with acc you would already have an acc id right and the password this is what you use for your logging into my acc account also so it's the same thing nothing different same acc id and password you need to put on here so i'll just put on my id and password and then we will get going all right then you click on sign in and because it's the same page of my acc and you'll be taken to exactly that practice platform site so this is how it looks this is the practice platform site now here on the uh, you know uh, this side right side you can see that there is a catalog coming i will minimize the screen so you can you know see it properly you can see this catalog all your skill and professional level papers are there so whether you are giving advanced audit and assurance or maybe audit and assurance and fm you can just click on any of the subjects so let's look at one subject let's let's say click on financial management now once you click on the financial management so basically uh you see this plus signs yes you have to click on that plus sign so when you click on that plus sign you would see that you have your acc official resources and you have a blank workspace so what are these official resources you have past exam library so your past exam questions let me open that see all of these questions of your june 21 attempt june 22 attempt everything is there so you can then just assign it and you know in your self assigned material on the left side everything will come and you can just start with it so this is your past exam library we have practice exams also so if you want to do sort of a practice and of course cbe practice is important because you will be giving uh, you know your cbe exam so you need to be well averse that how exactly it works how do you really you know do this uh, thing in your computer how you are supposed to give the test how you are supposed to do things and also i have in which ways um, you know fintram has their own cb training which faculties provide so that those videos are also there and if you are a knowledge level student so you will not find knowledge level over here for knowledge level i have created a separate cp training video for knowledge level you can view that for skill and professional you can do your practice from here your cb practice from here so these are your practice exams and you also have uh, specimen exams you also have a blank workspace this is these headings are there under each subject so i open for fm let me check for fr see same thing is is the official resources then i get all of these things and then i have blank workspace also so for fm let me just assign and show it to you so let's click on a practice exam and let me just assign this practice exam so once i have assigned it you see the option of unassigned starts to come because it's already now assigned so i'll go to my self assign things and see fm has now come i'll click on this and i can just start with the practice so it opens up it will show me the exact screen of introduction how usually you know this practice platform works all the instructions are there 
I can click on next, uh, the general instructions, how you should be answering, navigating, how could you flag, all of those. And this is important and I'll suggest each and every of one of you who's an ACC student to visit this website and do a practice session any pick any subject whichever subject of course you're studying for and do a practice test because you will get well versed with it that how the system works because during the exam day if you're going it's not a pen and paper exam it will be a computer based exam if you're going for that and you don't know anything because you've just practiced by hand at your home you will be little you know nervous that oh, how the system will work that's why ACC has given you this access of practice platform that you practice on your computers, on your laptops. And then when you go on the exam day, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, how it's going to be. So everything, all the instructions are there. They've told uh, you could highlight it. You can strike through something. The working or scratch pad is there. Uh, how you could copy paste. Uh, you know, you can copy and paste from the scratch pad or question scenario by using your control C, control V, which is your normal copy paste shortcuts. Symbol, navigate screen reviewing the exam uh, then how can you review how would you end the exam that you would click on end exam and once you have done that once you have ended the exam you cannot go back so only end it once you are absolutely done with it all right so this is your exam summary so since i have opened for fm the, it shows for fm that all right what is you know basically the structure of the exam that they have said that there's going to be a section a there's going to be a section b of ot's that is objective test and there's a section c of constructive response all questions are of course compulsory and there is no negative marking ecc as we already know then you get this option that okay you want to begin you click on yes then they say section a will start then you click on next and that's how you get your basically the practice session starting it's a basically mock exam sort of you can say that so you can just write type here things and you can see the symbol here if you want to put any symbol you have your dollar euro pound all of that so you can close this you can insert it there's an option to highlight things there's an option to strike through something there's also a calculator you see uh, when I click on that calculator pops up you can see over here and then you can type on this calculator either you can click on these buttons or you just type it on so right now I'm typing I'm not clicking on the buttons but see whatever I'm typing that is coming becoming red so that's the calculator you can simply use that you could delete things also if you want to you can keep on pressing delete or you can in your uh, basically uh, keyboard press on the backspace button so this is your calculator you also have a scratch pad if you want to write something you want to collect your thoughts about something you can just see type it here you could uh, either copy it click on that copy thing and you could then if you want to paste it somewhere or here only you could just click on paste and it will get pasted you could also use the function control c so i've just done control c and below and now i'm gonna do control v and see it got pasted so that is how you could use the trackpad now let's say i don't answer this question and i move on to the next then i get this option for now i'm just clicking on anything obviously i'm not reading it i click on next i can just do that this question let's say i'm not so sure so i could uh, flag it for now right because i am thinking that oh i'll come back to it on later so flag you can see is right over here on top uh, side i'm not sure if you'll be able to see over here but yeah, it's on the right hand side over here. Uh, there's a flag for review screen coming in. So you could do that as well. So, uh, you know, you could highlight, strike through, calculate. You could flag for review. You can uh, click on close all. There is an also an option to click on uh, navigator. Uh, below there's a navigator wherein this pop-up will come then. Navigator that, okay, they'll tell you. Question one is incomplete. Question two, I did answer something, right? Then I have flagged the question. So all of this will be there. What is unseen, what is complete. You can also click on any particular question from here. Let's say I just click on question 15 and automatically your question 15 will open. So that is how you could do. That is how, you know, your CB platform also works. So you can, of course, uh, I would say always uh, for whatever subject you are planning to give your exam next, definitely visit this website of practice platform to see how it goes. And below there's a help uh, uh, question mark button you can click on that you get the instructions you get the formula sheet also since this paper fm has of course practical things so there are formula sheets also some question helps constructive response question helps so everything whatever documents ACC needs to give they have provided then i just let's say i want to end it so i'll just click on close all here and i can just then 
end it so that is how basically you can go about the uh, you know practice uh, platform again you come back to your main screen home once you have closed it now here you can if you want to check the answer or anything like that you see over here they you have mark you have results performance right so once you finish an exam you can then go on mark and you know like in the past i had just tried on double a so then you do self mark and that self mark i'll just show you so you have to finish that complete exam you can't just if you end it in between you will not get the answer you have to completely end the exam by going through each question and then you get this sort of a thing of a self review wherein you can then click here to see the sample answer and then they will show you that okay what's the answer for this particular question so uh, above you can see i go on question 2 i click here on the sample answer and i get the sample answer so that is how you can get the answers as well and i have just done you know you can mark yourself also and you will get the results then you will see you could see your performance also how you are being doing so that is something of great use i would say as an ecc student you know students are always confused about the cb practice thing or the cb test that oh how i will do in the exam day so that's why this practice platform is there for you free of charge if you are an acc registered student you are not paying anything for this it's already there you just have to put in like i showed you right from google how to go uh, you'll put in your acc id password this website will open and then you can just assign whichever subject you are giving and like i said for knowledge level i have created a separate cp uh, cb training session for that so that also you can view if you are at that level all right so that is all that i wanted to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful and i will always suggest everyone to go through this practice platform even if you're not attempting a test at least go through it check all of those functions so that you are aware that okay during the exam day i'm not seeing that okay this is where the calculator is how it is used at least go through the uh, any subject you assign and at least go through that platform to just get a feel of it so that during the exam you any which ways have lot of problems this should not be one of that problem right and like always if you have any queries you can of course reach out to fintram and they'll be happy to help you and we any which ways faculties have you know give you all of these information in our classes they tell you about you know we have separate cb training also for all the levels so you can view all of that also and basically this is what your cb will look like it's no other different during the exam day this is what i showed you this is how your exam screen will look like so that's why i'm asking each and every student to go on this practice platform assign any of the subjects which you are appearing and at least go through something so for example here if i go and you check, click on your uh, basically variant past exam library either you go there you do questions but if you want to practice basically this platform you could go into practice platform assign something even if you're not completing i will always suggest go through the entire test because it will you know really help you to not only you're practicing your questions but in the platform so it will be better for you you will be able to then manage your time more effectively during the exam but even if you're not practicing for an exam at least go through this platform to exactly get a feel of your cbe test All right do hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such informative videos i will see you soon till then this is acc disha chauhan signing off